Rain or Shine Elasto Painters vs. San Miguel Beerman, PBA 49 Season Governor's Cup, who will win this game? Happy to have you with us for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, here with Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Ali LaForce. We've got the visitors facing the home team. Now the starting group for the visitors. Off target at the rim. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Just five to shoot. From outside, off the mark. Fantastic perimeter defense. His coaches and teammates have to appreciate this kind of effort. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. And he drops it in Number from 25. the low post. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Drives to the hoop. Count it. Tennis. Number seven. Out left to the wing. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. We're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Here's Perez. Six on the shot clock. Offline from the top of the key. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The officials were right on top of that. At the line for the away team. Number 14. First one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. To the middle. Blocked! Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Left wing. Hits a three-pointer. He's consistent from out there. Especially when you give him that kind of room. It's time, time, out, time to out. talk Home this team. over and try to put a stop to this run. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing. Yeah. That was your dancer. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pick up, pick up. 
Shot clock at five. Can they get it? No good on the shot. Perry's the easy one. And they're building up steam. Getting out in front and trying not to look back. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. Here's Perez. Pass to Adams. Here's Perez. Adams goes in. Can't hit from in close. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And there it is for him. Fuller. What a way to begin Assistant. this game. Number Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Number 14. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your home team. Number seven. Two shots. First one falls for him. It's both from the stripe. Shoots. Can't nail the jumper. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Pass to Perez. Shoots from the line. Count that one. Number six seven. points for him. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotation. Oh, wow! Oh, crazy good! And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Pass to Adams. Off with the layup. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. They grab their own miss. Oh, Adams with the block. Sinks that one after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. To the wing, right side. Down low. The layup off target. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Shot, left block. Oh, and he can't make that one. Two for three now. It's first miss. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Number Officials 15. call the foul, and he'll take Second two free throws now. Everyone in the building foul. saw the obvious contact. The line for two. Adams. Free throw drops for Adams. Oh. 
And so he hits both. From the arc. Counted from distance. Six points for him. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Blanketed by the D. He Number fights seven. to the rim for the layup. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. It's good. Woo! Just selling the defense on the pump fake. Pass to Perez. A deep three. The putback. Number oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. No good with a layup. Now here's Adams. He's off on that one. And he's going for the oop here. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. The 11-footer. And he can't bank that one in. To the inside. Blocked. And he gets it back. Pass to Perez. Ooh, powered down with both hands. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Away team. the miss. Tremendous defensive effort. It's saving a bucket right there. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Perez. Just two to shoot. No good there. Off the double clutch. Textbook defense on display. That's exactly how you guard against the jump shot. Moved his feet, timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. Number and seven. once more First this half, foul. they find a way to get great position inside. At the line for the away team, number four. We've got 128 left in the first. And he drives in. And that one is hammered home. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. No good. Hey, nice D from Ross. One oh two left in the opening quarter. Up high, and down it goes on the lob. <laughs> and how sweet was that play? Pinpoint pass, set up the alley-oop flush. Baseline jumper. Goes back up. And it's good on the lay-in. Give him eight points now. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. 
can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. And they'll get another chance. Here's Perez. Knocks it down from distance. Perez has got seven. Perez has gone one of two from beyond the arc. Leaner from the outside. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Up four. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. 27. Enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Especially at the start. You want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. the glass it's picked off now here's Adams defense right on him the shot no good hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure the rim protection at its finest the result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it And they're on the run. Ball stolen. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Outside Ross. Got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a first pair. Personal foul, first team foul. At the line for your home team, number 13. And he makes a first. Both shots good from the strike. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. From 10 feet away, deflected. They recover it. Just four to shoot. Oh, steps back and drains the jumper. 10 points for him. Ooh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Got a hand on it. Knocked away. 
looking to end this cold spell. Number 14. Good on the bucket. Looking now Home for team. some consistency. Just too many missed shots. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing. And it... On defense, the visiting team. They've led by as many as 11. Inside. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. They get it back. He goes up again. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. At the line for the away team. Number 14. Two shots. First one falls. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Six to shoot. Can't connect from 14. Misses again. Two for eight in this matchup. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Oh, nice one-handed jam time there, PA. Hey, little exclamation point. It's time to talk this over and try to put a stop to this run. Yo, you, this one, make some noise. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, out to the right wing to stop the drought. And the shot goes down. Number seven. Ten points for him. Yes, that's good planning, and that's Rocky. good execution. And that's a great look. And there's the lob. Oh, a flawless finish on the lob. Now that's a textbook alley-oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. Ten points separating these teams. Uses the glass on the layup. Against good defense, he finds just enough room to operate. Who poked away. To the paint. Can't finish the lob. Inside. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. Offensive rebounding is all about wanting it. Fantastic effort there, leading to second chance points. And it's blocked. He keeps control of the ball. And they recover it. And it falls. Jeez, Two for three four. from the field so far. And it gets even number worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Number seven. Not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. 
Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Brian Commissioner Adam Silver has done a 180. Once in favor of raising the NBA age limit to 20, he now supports lowering it back to 18. He said it's the right thing to do, adding that the opportunity to work with players at a younger age on not just skills, but mental health, diet, character, and values could be in everyone's best interest. PA? Well, it didn't happen yet, Allie. We'll see. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. Down low. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Give him eight points now. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they've executed. Here's the break. Rejected. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. The home team on D. It's a 10-point game. Ooh, pops the J after a cagey pass fake. You really have to question the defensive effort on that possession. They are getting bared tonight with plays like that one, allowing too much space for a good Number shooter. Seven. Incredible fadeaway shot there. The defense was all over him, but he still rose up and nailed that one. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. He one for two that's what you call playing big he just stays committed to the attack mode and I'm gonna give him a lot of credit because he saw what he was up against and he was undeterred shot clock at six the three is up and no good and he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Good. Eight buckets in 12 attempts. They closed the gap over the last few possessions. But can they push through and grab the lead? This is the tricky part. Having enough left in the tank to finish the job. To the inside. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. What he might lack in height at the four spot, he makes up for it with his burst. And there's the turnover. Pass goes out of bounds. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. So both teams making some changes here. We've got a minute 48 left in the first half. Over to the wing, lets the three fly, and the three-pointer goes. Not just a knockdown shooter, he does a great job of finding space for his shot. To the middle. Oh, they pick off the pass. To the inside. 
Ooh, the lead oh, pass was in the perfect ten. spot to set up the layup. Excellent tempo on the play, and he leads his teammate perfectly. Right wing, will it go? Gets the three to fall. He's got five. And just sinks it over the tall defender. That's why you have to crowd shooters on the perimeter. And let's give him some credit. He read the situation well. He created some space, and he delivered. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Yes, smart choice. I really like that play. Fires it from 18. And it's good for two. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Knocks it loose. And he lobs it up. He's really taken a hold of this first half and made it his. He is making all the right decisions out there. There's 31 seconds left in the second. Knocks down the triple. Number 13. 27 seconds left to play in the half. To the paint. And that Number makes him 10. three for four. He's looking good. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. He's been shooting with great consistency tonight. Love to see that confident play on offense. On target from range. The defender was pretty much helpless right there. This man had a clear height advantage, and he got the exact kind of shot he wanted. Yep, that one goes. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Up by five. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? Love to see a team grind for those offensive players. They're doing the dirty work and converting those extra possessions into points. It's got to be demoralizing for the defense at this point. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, they had a strong pull of the game. See, Ernie, when this team executes from long range, those weapons spread out of defense. Coming out of the second half, if those shooters are hot, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back. Kevin Harlan. Go. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The official saw contact while he was going up. Foul. First team foul. At the line for your home team, number seven. Two shots. First free throw is good. And 
And that's good as he hits both shots. Checking out the group for Darko Rayakovich to start the second half. From eight feet away, and he drops that one in. Ten points for him. He's just so hard to check. He can turn you one way, then use the spin move to make you look sad. It's tipped! Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scores and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Number 15. Third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for one. Number seven. Second half rolling along, about a minute played here. Adams with the ball. Puts it up from 15. The shot that time, not on target. Textbook defense on display. That's exactly how you guard against the jump shot. Moved his feet, timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. Adams covering. Fades and shoots. Adams grabs the miss. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Pass to Perez. A rare miss for him. Inside. It's stolen. Fires from deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got 13. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. And he banks in the layup. Number 10. Assertive move. Yes, yes. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Timeout, timeout. Team. right there his feet may not have been planted pretty obvious call by the officials so difficult to stay planted especially with all the motion around you annoying turnover oh there's the alley nice dish and the layup goes down attacking the defense with the pass don't need to be a hero. To the wing on the left. Oh, sinks Whoa. it after the cagey pump fake. Nice. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. To mark. They get it again. That's good. That's now his seventh made field goal in 15 tries. Salvage the possession. He's a terrific offensive rebounder. A quick shot there. It's off target.
for the lead. The shot comes out. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Clock at six. It's not going to go for him. And here they come. Into the lane. Controls the rebound and the putback. And keeping the play alive with his activity. I love the effort. Shoots from 12. Basket counts. He's got 14. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Down low. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. He's got 19. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. And that one's long. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Fourth personal foul, third team foul. At the line for two, number seven. First free throw is good. Good on both. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game in Miami. Time out, time out. Away team. Ross. To the middle. Hey, nice D from Ross. From 13, and there's Adams. That one's good. On the assist by Ross. Adams has got his second basket on the night. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. Gets the three ball to go. Poor defense there. That's his bread and butter. You have to crowd him out on the perimeter. Out to the right wing. Right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Adams got his third basket of the night. Takes a three. Can't get it to drop. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. From deep three-point land. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. He's been a piece of the puzzle tonight, but it's a team effort. Everyone's contributing to this lead. 4-3. No luck on that one. Oh, they get a hand on it. And he lobs it up to the rim. Off target on the lob. 
Tremendous defensive effort, saving a bucket right there. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. To the paint. Ooh, and Adam Strong finish. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Shot to stop the run. Connects. The jumper drops. Some defenses are designed to yield the mid-range shot. For him, that's a good look. Pass to Perez. There's the three. Sends it home from three-point land. Perez has got ten. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul. And good whistle there. Foul. Shooting for the away team. Number five, taking two shots. down the first one. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 151 left to play in the third. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And I respect the strategy. Despite the size of the lead, you got to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. Chalk up two there. He's got seven. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Ross passes to Perez. Two points. That one goes. 23 points in the game. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. Old team foul. Number 15. Fourth personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for the away team. Number four. Two shots. Drops the first. And he makes both free throws. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Adams. Second shot opportunity. And yep, it's good. Adams has got nine points in the quarter. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Five to shoot. 
beyond the arc. The shot won't fall. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Up by 10. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. that lead. Hey, once you got him on the ropes, keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for oh, answers. Foul. Number 15. Fifth personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the away team. Number 28. Taking two shots. Free throw is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Misses. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high Number percentage 10. look. But this is why we play the game. I love it. Beautiful job getting to the rim, making a play. And they call an illegal screen here. That's a tough walk back to the showers. I'm pretty sure he'd like to have a couple of those plays back. Number 33. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Launches it. Sinks it from distance. 28. 23 points in the game. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. it from three exchanging buckets from downtown that's been a staple of tonight's game hey players love competition and the fans love it as well fires for three no luck on that one and the truth is i've been there he's trying to find the rhythm on his shot he feels like he's close and that's why he keeps shooting He sends it right off the glass. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Adams comes with a double. At 
Adams covering. Number goes 25. to the reverse layup and drops it in. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Oh, he finds Number himself wide open and drills it. Assistant. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Aaron. And that one drops. Yes. He's doing what he can Number do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Here's Jimenez. Banked it in off the glass. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And he's going for the lob. Sees his man, threads the pass inside. Excellent teamwork. Took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your home team. Number 13. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. Six to shoot. Home team foul. Number 91. First personal foul. Second team foul. The fader. That shot, no good. Inside. Here's Adams. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. The shake. Adams grabs the miss. Adams got six rebounds in the game. To the inside. Tipped. Inside. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. 27 points for him. They were totally in sync on that play. Targeted the pass beautifully. the block to the paint that one is off hard to convert against that kind of defense oppression the rim protection at its finest the result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it to the middle shot clock at six shoot from 12 it's deflected From the right block. That shot off the mark. Oh, 
puck loose. And lays it up and banks it in. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. To the right side. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got a seventh rebound here tonight. Out to the right wing. From 12 feet, and he hits the jump shot. Showing off the dribble moves. Able to create for himself. I love it. is in the 12 footer zero hesitation off that nasty crossover home team fans please give a big round of applause for your new dance squad player of the game. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, but just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. You think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans, and it motivates him to always give them his very best. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. The head coach of the home team had some words for his team over the break. He kept it real with his team, telling them, I know you feel good about this lead, but let's not get lazy. Let's not act like this is a sure thing all of a sudden. Looking to keep their focus on the task at hand, Brian. Thank you for that, Allie. Over to the wing. The 15-footer. Got a piece of it. And it's blocked. And they get it back. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. Well, he was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. And that goes out of bounds. Now keep possession. Away team ball. A three off the inbound. Pure Number from three-point range. 19 points in the game. Easy look Two when the defender isn't game. fighting over the screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. There's a minute 47 left to play in the fourth quarter. No good. He's shooting five for 12 so far. There's the triple. Hits the trifecta. Oh. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Pass to Perez. The ball's knocked loose. Fast break. Here we go. Seventeen foot shot on the way. Oh. Count it. Oh, oh nice feed. On time and Number on 14. target. And we've got 118 left to play in the fourth. Here we go, one on one. Oh, a rim rattling two handed jam. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Ooh, they can't. Stop the run with that one. And it's in. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. And since the break, 
Both teams are increasing their intensity and really getting after it. I would have loved to hear the coach's speech because they really took heed to it. Like you said, both teams playing at a different pace. To the left side wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Can't hit that one. Fighting for the rebound, making sure they take back possession. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. To tie it up. Count it! Oh, a tremendous three! We're tied! Oh, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. Coming onto the floor for the away team. Number five. And here's Adams. time don't go away we'll be back momentarily boy these teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters now we're headed to overtime this one should be fun lead pass and he's now got the double double good decision making scopes the situation puts the pass right on the mark pass to Perez to the inside Adam shots good that's a well timed well coordinated play comes right off the pick for the lay in And too long on the shot. As usual, he's laser focused on defense. That's a nice shot contest. And this is where you would prefer to work the ball to someone else for just a better look. Perez can't hit. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. And we played just over a minute here in overtime. Shot from 12. And here's Adams from the arc. Ooh, that one makes him 7 for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. He lives for moments like this because he wants to be the guy to hit the clutch shot. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. First personal foul, first team foul. Shooting for the away team. Fuller at the line for two. Falls for him. So he gets them both. Just so reliable at the line. There was never a doubt that those were money. Perez, six on the shot clock, 
connects from downtown. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Two minutes remaining. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. He has 29 now. He has done everything possible to keep his team in this one. What a performance from him. Now here's Adams. Guarded closely. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Offline with a three. We're in OT here with just over two and a half minutes gone by. And the layup is good off the glass. Assistant. I mean, he's hard to stop once he gets to the rim. That's a beautiful play. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. The line for your home team, Adams. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that narrows the gap to one. And Adams drops them both. Fantastic job stepping up and knocking those two down. That's got to be a huge confidence builder. Throws it up high. You have to be accurate there. Very little room for error passing on the interior. for us to sit back and watch him go to work. But that's our job, not the defenses. They left him too open on that play. With the fadeaway, it doesn't go for him. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Eight, first personal foul, second team foul. Arena. Third team foul. At the line for the away team. Four. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three point lead. He hits both free throws here, and it's a four-point ball game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. A three from the inbound. Oh, he nails it! Oh, what a sensational bucket! That brings him within one. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. At the line for the away team, number 14, 
two shots. First free throw is good, and that'll put him up two. So he drops them both, and it's a three-point game. Huge shots. Tremendous job stepping up in a big way for them at the strike. The whole arena knows they need a three to force another overtime. And he drills the triple! Oh, an enormous three-pointer! That's an important bucket. Now they have to guard the perimeter tight. No threes at all. For the win! And nice! Got the buzzer! Wow! The winner and the buzzer. It doesn't get any better. One of the greatest shots you'll ever see. The three with nothing but zeros left on the clock. And so they get the victory here at home. Things looked a little uneven for them down the stretch, but in overtime, they took control. And B.A., I don't think they expected this one to be so hard fought. But when they went into overtime, they really poured the gas on the fire. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.